Welcome to the webbikeworld.com video tour of the new Bell Vortex motorcycle helmet. Please visit webbikeworld.com for the full review and detailed photos of this helmet and many more. Back in the day, Bell was the most recognized motorcycle helmet around and the one to have when you got serious about motorcycling and ready to ditch that Kresge special. Now over the last 10 years, Bell has come back with a vengeance, making some of the highest quality and what might be called the most user-friendly motorcycle helmets available. We reviewed two versions of the top-of-the-line Bell Star on WebBikeWorld.com recently, and this is the Bell Vortex, new for 2010. It sits just under the Star in the Bell product lineup, and most riders would be hard-pressed to tell the difference. The Vortex is probably better than most other motorcycle helmet manufacturers' top-line models, and it has a few key features that are among the best in class. Bell is also known for outstanding graphics and designs on their helmets, and the Vortex is no exception. It's available in a wide range of colors, and this is the radical torn graphic, shown here in gold. We figured we'd do something a little different from all the red and silver helmets that seem to be so popular. The quality of the graphics is outstanding, and they give the helmet a bonus of making it highly visible on the road also. Bell also hit on a winning formula with its face shield designs, and the Vortex uses the same design as the more expensive Star. Somehow Bell has managed to put dozens of precise tiny ratchet stops in the lifting mechanism, which not only gives the face shield an excellent feel, but also allows micro adjustment of the face shield opening. The face shield removal mechanism has to be one of the easiest to operate of any motorcycle helmet ever. The beauty of it is its simplicity. Pull the smooth lever and the shield pops right off with no drama. It's just as easy to replace. And on top of all that, the face shield also has a very efficient anti-fog coating that really works. Bell also just announced that the Vortex is available with the Soul FX photochromic visor. More about that on webbikeworld.com and we did a full review of the Soul FX visor. One more feature that Bell has mastered is venting. The Vortex has outstanding airflow and the top vents work independently and open a fairly big scoop on each side to direct air into the helmet. The large rear exhaust vents are always open for business and they help pull a lot of air through the helmet and out the back. The Vortex also has a large chin vent with splitters that direct air through the passages in the chin bar and along the top of the high quality breath guard. The top, rear, and chin vents provide better airflow than the vast majority of helmets, but the Vortex has one more vent at the brow, rarely seen on any type of helmet, much less in this price range. It's not just for show either, as it directs air right through a pair of large openings in the liner. The removable liner in the Vortex is also very well made, and it has the cool magnetic bell chin strap retainer. Just remember, opposite poles attract. The helmet also comes with a chin curtain installed. The Vortex meets the DOT safety standard, and it's also Snell approved. So that's a quick look at the 2010 Bell Vortex motorcycle helmet. Be sure to visit webbikeworld.com for all of the details, more photos, the full evaluation, and our conclusion on this helmet, and over 150 more. Thanks for watching.